hello, and welcome to a new Kubio tutorial. Today's topic is about the basics of hierarchy and inherited styles. We must get acquainted with these concepts before jumping into any web page design. Many web pages are based on a grid view. In a nutshell, a web page is made of squares and rectangles where text and visuals get placed. You can have a page design that goes full width, covering 100% of the window, like here. Or you could have the content inside a container that is centered, has a maximum width, like here. Now, a grid is advised to have between 1 and 12 columns. Grids are also helpful in the case of responsive design. For example, a three-column layout on desktop might become a single-column layout on mobile. Now, in the next minutes I'm going to explain some new concepts like nesting and parent-child-sibling relationships in order to explain how styling happens across various elements in both web design and Kubio. In the case of Kubio, we use sections and columns to create the layout of a page. Next, content blocks get added inside these elements. Let's add a new blank section with three columns. You can easily add or remove columns from the design. When you place an element inside another, this action is called nesting. In Kubio, you can use the breadcrumb view from the bottom of the page to understand how elements are nested inside each other. When you select an element from the canvas or the breadcrumb view, you can see its name in the block editor on the right. You can use the editor for further styling. You can also use the list view to see how things get nested. The moment I select an element, it gets highlighted in the canvas. These paragraphs are all children of the same column. They are siblings, the column is the parent. The column on the left is the parent of the heading inside it. In the list view, the indentation guides you to understand which elements are parents to certain elements or which elements are the children or siblings of another element. The more content blocks are nested inside one another, those blocks get indented furthermore. The top level element in this hierarchy is the document. It has three children, header, content, and footer. An important difference between the list view and the breadcrumb view is that siblings are not shown in the latter. Now, let's move to our next topic of the day, inherited styles. Every template in Kubio comes with some predefined typography. There is a specific font size weight and color defined for headings, paragraphs, text, and links. They are defined inside general settings under typography. These styles are passed onto every new section and block that get added to a page. They are inherited. You can always override these settings at more granular child levels, but you should remember that each child will inherit the typography style of its parent. Let's go back to our blank section at the bottom. Next, let's pick a green color for headings and a dark blue for paragraphs. Let's now add a heading and two paragraphs. You notice that they have the colors that we define at the section level because the two columns are the children of the section. Both the paragraph and heading inherit the global font family. We can overwrite this as well. This change won't be reflected to other sections. Now, remember when I said that the content of a page can go full width or that it can be placed inside a container. This can be set at the section level. Let's make this column full width. Now, let's set the gallery to container. This means we need to select its parent section. We'll use the breadcrumb view for this. The container's width is set up by default in the theme or template that you are using. When talking about heights, most elements are sized by the content within them. The more or the higher the elements in a column, the higher the column gets. In Kubio, this means that the height is set to auto. You can also set a minimum height if you want. You can make use of paddings and margins to ensure proper spacing between sections, between nested elements, between parents and their children, and so on. In Kubio, they are set globally, meaning they have some default settings that are inherited by all the parents and children on every web page you will create. 
margins refer to the outer space beyond the borders of an element. For example, we can set up a margin of 50 pixels around this section. The padding refers to the inner space of an element. You can overwrite this at every section, column, or block level. For example, let's set up a padding between this column and its nested element, meaning the image. The distance between the text on a button and the button's edges is also called padding. Both the padding and the margin can be set individually, for left, right, bottom, or top. Just click on the icon on the right that unlinks the sides. And that was all for today. See you next time.